हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज पेमेंट टोकनाइजेशन हाउ इट वर्क्स डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पेमेंट टोकन्स एंड हाउ टू सर्च पेमेंट टोकन इन द साइबर सोर्स पेमेंट गेटवे व्हाट इज पेमेंट टोकनाइजेशन पेमेंट टोकनाइजेशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज क्रेडिट कार्ड टोकनाइजेशन पेमेंट टोकनाइजेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ असाइनिंग द यूनिक कोड और टोकन टू द सेंसिटिव डेटा the sensitive data can be customer details billing address card details tokenization is one of the security measure in the payment processing i have drawn one diagram for the better understanding at the left side we have merchant website and at the right side we have payment gateway payment gateway will be used for the payment processing suppose customer has visited the merchant website and submitted the payment for particular order once customer submits the payment the merchant website or merchant application will send the, the payment data to the payment gateway for the payment processing and this payment data also known as a customer payment data which contains the details of customer email customer id or some other field related to customer card details card number expiry date card holder name billing address shipping address so all the details of the customer payment and this payment data submitted to the payment gateway for the payment processing once payment gateway receives this payment data payment gateway will process the payment and that details will also be saved at the payment gateway side if payment tokenization is enabled at the payment gateway side for that particular merchant then payment gateway will create one token against this payment data token is nothing but some unique code that could be number or mix of letter and number and that token will represent this particular customer payment data so payment gateway will create one token against the customer payment data and that token is also saved at the payment gateway site against that customer payment data and in the response to the merchant that token is returned and that token is saved at the merchant side for the future transactions so what i mean the future transaction future transaction can be any settlement transaction or it can be to reverse the payment or to cancel the payment or it can also be used for the reoccurring payment and it can also be used when customer will revisit your website so suppose in future customer visit the website again and customer use the same credit card or debit card and submit the payment so what merchant can do merchant can send only the token to the payment gateway for the payment processing there is no need to send whole credit card data or debit card data to the payment gateway this is how the payment tokenization works now let's see the types of token we have a different types of token based on what type of data that particular token will contain the first is the customer token customer token contains the details of customer email id customer id card details shipping details or shipping address billing address all these data are present in the customer token shipping address token a token which will represent the shipping details payment instrument token the token which will represent the card details and the billing address card holder name card number expiry date card type and the billing address so all these details will be present in the payment instrument token and the last is instrument token the token which will represent only card number or we can say pan permanent account number as we discussed in the previous slide the merchant 
submit the customer payment data to the payment gateway once payment gateway receives the customer payment data and the tokenization is enabled the payment gateway will create these different types of token customer token shipping address token payment instrument token and instrument token and each token will have corresponding data so the, this is about different types of token now let's see the relationship between tokens customer token is the parent of all the tokens and customer tokens can have payment instrument token and the shipping address token customer token can have more than one payment instrument token and it can also have more than one shipping address token why so for example the same customer has used two debit card or two credit card different credit card so there would be two payment instrument token generated and suppose customer has also used the more than one shipping address so more than one shipping address token will be generated if customer token having more than one payment instrument token then there will be one default payment instrument token same goes with shipping address token if customer token having more than one shipping address token then there will be one default shipping address token and what about instrument token instrument token will present in the payment instrument token instrument token represent the card number only that's why it is part of the payment instrument token so first customer token then payment instrument token and shipping address token and in the payment instrument token instrument token in the cyber source portal i will show the token and then you will understand the relationship between different tokens how the token look like so let's log in the cyber source portal i have logged in the cyber source portal the test environment of cyber source and in the left navigation you need to click on the token management click on the customers click on add filter and here you need to select the token id I already generated one token from my application so I am going to search that token here so you can see one record is present here you need to click on this once you click on the token all the details will be displayed here I already explained about uh, the customer token it contains the customer information email ID the some custom field and the payment method basically card details so here you can see this is the customer section so here, so here since there is no email present for my customer that's why it's blank but if you provide then this field will be these fields will be filled the payment methods this section contains the payment instrument token and the shipping information and this contains the shipping address token since i have not provided any shipping address that's why it's blank in payment method i have one record means i used one card here so this is the token id so basically this is the payment instrument token and here in the same row you will have the instrument token which will represent the card number let me explain again so this is the customer token and here you have the customer information payment details this section will hold the details of payment instrument token so this is the payment instrument token and payment instrument token will have the instrument token so here you can see this is the instrument token and then is the shipping information so this section contains the shipping address token but uh, for me it's blank for now now let's click on the payment instrument token so once we click on the payment instrument token you will have navigation like this so the customer token then payment instrument token so this payment instrument is the part of this token
which is the customer token now this payment instrument contains as i already explained the billing address and the card details so this is the billing address this is the card details here you can see this is the instrument token so instrument token is the part of payment instrument token so the parent is the customer token and it will have the payment instrument token shipping address token and the payment instrument token will also have the instrument token which will represent the card number so let's click on this instrument token so you can see the navigation changed instrument token payment instrument token and customer token and this is the instrument token which is having this card number so this is how it look like and this is uh, how we search in the cybersource portal that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video